The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, sorry. Uh, come back to me. Okay. I'm your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. Travis, yes. what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I just had to finish beating uh, the Dark May. I've been kind of... Have you guys been playing Alpha Legend 16's Fingers of the Resistance on iOS and Android? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I'm playing it on iOS and Android. Usually at the same time, two different uh, devices. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like one of those like uh, old retirees who walks around playing Pokemon Go yeah. on like a huge organ of sixteen different. Well, it's just things. the gameplay is so immersive, and they have like fully customizable backpacks, um, and it's available yeah. now. You know, it's just two ninety nine a month. Uh, to play. Have you played Legend uh, of Backpack, uh, Mr. Pocket's Revenge 16? No, I haven't uh, played that. IOS I've just played Alpha Legend 16's Fingers of the Resistance, available now on uh, iOS and Android. Um, yeah. You uh, can start playing now uh, from any yeah. of your devices. And, you know, I, uh-huh. I'll i let you guys in on something special. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have a code that you guys can use if you want to oh cool yeah yeah, yeah. what is what is it code give me travis uh it's gonna give you 20 percent off your first backpack griffin oh my god yeah. uh, now i heard a lot of ads oh sorry what's the code the code is uh travis power 99 <laughs> so a lot of these p- mobile games they show you the ads and you think wow you get to match gems to make babes fight zombies yeah. but then you play it and it's like sudoku it's just or real time strategy sometimes yeah. i heard that this game is like a real one like a this it looks like the a ads, real right one. yeah this is yeah, a real one like it looks ads. just like the ads uh you do match gems to make yeah. babes fight zombies but that's in the bottom right corner yeah. mostly it's about backpack management and customization yeah, so and but I also heard the gotcha mechanics are a little predatory in that even if you spend like a hundred dollars on uh, a, tr- a trillion gems, then you don't even have a guarantee to get a five star power chance. Uh, no, actually, Griffin, it says, uh, sorry, I mean, in my experience, um, there you get the best one every time if you use the code Travis Power 99. Uh, that's capital T. You're not reading this. No, you're not reading. No, of course this, not. This is just from my experience because I'm a big gamer, um, and yeah. I love Alpha Legend 16's colon fingers of the resistance. And yeah. um, are you, you saying the word colon? <laughs> I just want to make sure that that's clear. So when people type it in, and just to be clear, it's capital T, capital I, and then the W is capitalized, and only one of the R's is capitalized, uh, and you write yeah. out 99 with a hyphen in there, um, and that's going to get you 20 percent off your first backpack, guaranteed. To be Jansport or better. Yeah. Have you played Mr. Dinosaur? Uh, I don't know that one. Griffin. I only play, I bought a phone specifically to play Alpha Legend 16 colon Fingers of the Resistance. Yeah, I checked that one out, but I like Mr. Dinosaur, and there's one called Balls. That one's cool. Uh, those games, uh, it says here, are shit compared to Alpha Legend 16. F- wow, it says that about Mr. Fingers Dinosaur of the Resistance. And Balls. Um, all the major gamers are playing this one, Travis, Tony Hawk, all of us. Trav, I yeah. heard that um, a lot of, a lot of, I I tried to download, I think I had the right name of it. It was Alpha something, but it kept making me top up and I had to keep paying for more credits and I yeah. never hit a jackpot yeah. ever. Yeah. Well, that'll happen if you're not good at games. I mean, if you're a noob. Wait, no, the, your ad said that I was supposed to hit a jackpot within 11 spins. 
Yes, and uh, there was an asterisk there where it said, if you have the skills. At the bottom, it said, if you're not a noob and you have the skills. So how do you, Justin, if you're being honest with yourself, and I mean really look in your heart, you got the skills? I don't. Yeah. Okay, I don't. Now I'm looking at Wienersoft's other games yeah. on, the, uh, on these marketplaces, yeah. Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to raise umbrage with some of them because it's like, I, I'm starting to think maybe they're not above board. Oh, wait, why? Just sort of with the title. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you can get this one bundled with Cuck Hunt. Yeah. Travis, I don't <laughs> think that this is a developer we should be supporting with our money, with our... You know, well, our, I, uh, I would say it's more the, the, it's actually more the other way it's around, actually, Griffin, to be fair. You sound like an idiot. It's free to download, Griffin. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's free to download. Oh, really? It's free you to download. Like uh, not pay to play. Uh, now, it's not I will pay say, to win. Do well, you earn credits while you're AFK? Does, well, I'm sorry, Justin. I, I, from my experience, I'm specifically <laughs> experienced to not say it's not pay to win. Okay. My specific experience. Okay, so when Travis has played the game, he didn't pay because he <laughs> got all of his own free gems, and he did win. So by Travis's very limited, by the narrow sliver of light through which Travis is watching you play this game. Yeah. It was cool for him. Yeah, it says on the sheet. It says on the sheet. It was cool for me, and kids love it. Yeah, and and another thing that you're gonna appreciate, parents, because you've been there. No, like gatekeeping to let kids make purchases through your phone, right? We don't. Yeah. They don't do any of that stuff where it's just like, oh, prove your age before you purchase these gifts. <laughs> it just lets it's them. A, it's a it one click on thing. There, it's not gonna bother ahead, you at all. Yeah. It, from what I saw on there, it said, "Go ahead, squirt raw dog it," and yeah, and you could just buy whatever, whatever yeah. you want. Whatever you want. There's a game that they have on here, Travis, where you do actual <laughs> surgery on Mario and Luigi. Yes, correct. That's one of the my more popular. It's one of the ones I enjoy the most. Yeah, there's. A, okay. I have a code for that one too. Okay. It, if it's, you do a good the job, code is your... it's a me pancreas ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, spelled out. They also have Angry Birds. Uh, yeah, no, on the phone you can get them both. Yeah. No, oh, that's impossible. Capcom just bought Angry Birds. Oh yeah, no. Uh, the Wienersoft just bought Capcom. Yeah, from all the money they've made. I mean, from all the uh, good vibes they've gotten from how much people love. Uh, sorry, one more time. Does uh, it say Alpha good vibes on the sheet? Yeah, trip? it says good vibes bought Capcom yeah. because of Alpha Legend sixteen calling fingers of the resistance. Fingers of resistance. Gonna, excuse me. It's gonna be so shitty when. The FCC starts regulating podcasts. Oh, um, don't even. It's going to get really shitty for us from a like fungible and legal standpoint. Yeah. Um, please nobody tell the FCC about podcasts. They're still like kind of, they're still like kind of in a tizzy about streaming in general. Yeah. Um, uh, Griffin, just to clarify from my experience, don't worry because yeah. the backpacks you earn in Alpha Six Legend 16 are non-fungible. So you don't have to worry about oh. fungibility at all. It is, oh, the game cool. makes them non-fungible. Each backpack okay, is cool. unique uh, and designed by Banksy, it says. In my experience. So you got, it has non-fungible tote bags is yes, what you're telling Yes, exactly. That's okay, fantastic. Cool. That's actually very good, Griffin. Thank you for that. Thanks. Thanks, Juice. Yeah, thank you for that, actually. Um, Trav? Put a stick, put a sticker up on my chart, Justin, for All my right. great joke. Yeah. Good joke. <laughs> uh, hey, Trav. Yeah? Uh, S Sonic the Hedgehog bought Angry Birds last week. Yeah. How much do you think, is this dude that makes Angry Birds, or basically it's just Angry Birds, how much do you think Sonic the Hedgehog had to pay to buy Angry Birds in this the year of our Lord, uh -huh. 2023. Does it, and keep him keep in mind, he doesn't have very much money. Yeah. <laughs> he He's just a has the money. Forest animal. He mainly has the money he started with. He is Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Does it does it include the hit film franchise of Angry Birds? I mean, you would own the key. Yeah. God, okay. this cast is stacked in this flick, though. Danny Sudeikis? McBride, De Sudeikis, Dinklage, Josh Gad, Bill Hader, Maya Rudolph, Danny McBride. Damn. Um, I'm going to say. Thank you. I'm going to say $2 billion. Well, okay. You kind of messed it up. So this 160, is, 160 million. No. You're both incredibly wrong. Uh, it, oh, wow. $775 million for Sonic the Dang. Hedgehog. He Travis and it. I almost split the other. Yeah, yeah. We're like as wrong as you could wrongness. possibly be. Now, to be yeah. fair, um, Justin, I'm guessing 90% yeah. of that value is all just like socks and like stress balls and shit. You know what I mean? Unsold merch that they have yeah. lying around. 
Yeah. Um, this is an advice show. We uh, take your questions and turn them alchemy like into wisdom. Don't forget one more time with the code because I feel like we didn't hit the code enough, Trav. Oh, thank you very much, Travis Power ninety nine. Okay, and the game title was it was Alpha Legend sixteen colon Fingers of Resistance. You read that? What? You read that? I saw you read. I know the face you make when you read. No, I was like I was looking at a picture of myself giving a thumbs up to remind myself how much I love the game. Okay. I don't think that's true, Juice. I think he was reading that. That's okay. I want Travis to get it while the getting's good. And if that means But how Travis come he getting, gets money for this and we don't get money for it? That's so we don't have to take care of him. This is for my Twilight you know? Years, Griffin. This is my nest egg. That's true. His, okay. That's yeah, his that's nest fair. egg. Mine's these stocks. These beautiful stocks. Nothing ever happened bad with stocks. <laughs> <laughs> I just buy the stocks of companies I like. And the only thing I like is weed. And things are going very good over here right. <laughs> from a monetary perspective. Kids, I'm pretty sure we're insider trading now. Kids, so this is, time. again, there's still do time. not tell the Wait. FCC about this medium. Griffin, are you worried that Justin- I on the ground floor of weed stocks, and then the ground floor keeps being lower than I previously assumed. Yeah. It's like, everybody, new ground floor. You, have mm -hmm. a, you can't get in on the ground floor again, as long as this is indeed the ground floor. And, and as long as you never sell- Never it's sell. like the money's not. It's like the money's not gone. It's like the money's not uh, gone. It's you. still there. You can't realize a loss unless you sell. This exactly. Is, listen, exactly. You, listen. Take this it is an me. advice show. This is this is a real advice show that the FCC me. cannot and must not know about. Welcome, welcome Just buy as many stocks as you can. <laughs> eventually, it'll. Whoop, Eventually, welcome to Sad Money. I'm your host, Justin McElroy, and I'm here to talk to you about the stonks, diamond hands, baby. Oh, come on, stonks. You don't have anything else for this character. There is <laughs> nothing else for this character. Um, this character walks off screen and completely, it's like Truman Show, just, 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 it wasn't a character. Oh, speaking of having nothing else for this character, Justin, it's time to play that intro. It feels good. And Mr. Nickname. So when I was listening to the recording of your theme song and I heard you say, it's Mr. Nickname, that was in the recording. Yeah, that wasn't me. I actually commissioned that from Mr. Worldwide himself. And he said, of course, anything for another Mr. And he said it to me. Now, welcome to Mr. Nickname. I didn't hear this intro audio, but I bet it sounded pretty cool. Yeah, seamless. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody, as I'd hoped. Uh, got a lot of people writing in ideas for Mr. Mc Nickname 2.0. So I've just sent Justin and Griffin two halves of a list. How did you uh, uh, solicit these? Oh, remember I did a bad version of it on the episode and then I said, so please help me say, fix Travis, it. I, I don't remember Mr. Nickname as being one of your more successful It wasn't routines. at all, but it was it was like a hurt puppy that people wanted to take in and nurse. So they sent me better of it. Tra you can say what you want about my brother. He's got the courage to fail. Yeah. 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 That's Is it, it still courage? Uh, okay, yeah, all okay, right. Okay, so I've sent you guys two halves of a list. Okay. Uh, for Griffin, you have the names we know these people by, or uh, the, the commonly known names. Now, Justin, you have the nicknames to match them to. We're going to match them up. Now, eagle-eyed, eagle-eared viewers will uh, know that Justin's list has five names on it, and Griffin's list has four. And that's because one, uh, two of the names on Justin's list will match up to the same person. Oh, wow, Griffin's. okay. Yes, so first, Griffin, read your names. This is not gonna work. Read work. your names, Griffin. Snoop Dogg. What read is the- All uh, of them? Okay, I'm gonna- yeah, I, read all of them. I'll get, wait, yeah, us Dogg. reading all of them negates the privately emailing the list of names. It's fucking- Part you need to look, Travis. <laughs> There's that part first. This segment is almost becoming art <laughs> by the the. I'm giving the it the old college try. It's just, it. This is the only time Griffin and I cannot know these lists. Okay. So if you no, here's what we'll do. Griffin, okay. you read the commonly known names, right? And then Justin, I want you to say like I think this one 
is Snoop Dogg. No, but I stop. Think but, but, but why did we need to split the information? Why did there need to be an Mo- information Mostly so that divide. you guys would have to say these names out okay, loud Okay, Griffin, go. Snoop Dogg. Calvin, no, Bro- Calvin sh- Broadus. I think it's Brodus. Now, that's the real name. That's not the name I sent you, Justin. These are not the names I sent you. Yeah, I know. I just, I wanted to say that that's our, we're already in nickname territory. Yeah. Okay. Stage name is different from nickname, Justin. Stage name is different from nickname. Another confusing point that sort of undermines the whole point of the of the whole exercise. Kind of feels like you guys aren't buying in. Keep going. Yeah, buy it. Griffin, it feels to me like you're not buying it. I'm buying, Travis, will you say that like I'm buying it? You're buying it. Okay. Snoop Dogg. And then Justin says what the answer is. Just keep going. Do I get to play? Keep going, Griffin. I don't know what the answer is, but I'm going to say I think it's Funk Dr. Spock. Jin of BTS, which is behind the scenes. I'm going to say Todd. Okay. Drake. That's Champagne Poppy. Red Man or Redman. <laughs> Mr. Shoulders. <laughs> I think what's happened here. <laughs> I want you to know something. Guys. This bit is a profound success for the two people that you are currently recording. This bit is a, a deep exploration on the. It's the a meditation. Work. It's like an it's a meditation on the craft of developing yeah. bits. It's for Dada, this baby. Podcast. This is Dada. But it's good for me. It's good for me and Justin because it's like this is you are doing workplace humor for me and Justin. Yes, right there now. we go. But, we go. but here's the th- here's the thing that you have to understand about Travis. Travis has the courage to take a bit into Skunk Works, and the yeah. only way to know if right. Skunk Works is to do it with us, his brothers. And yeah, 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 that, yeah. People don't get these aren't the segments. No, yeah, the segment is it Travis R and D, baby. Is the machine. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's it and he sometimes we tell him to take the bits to the wet works and then as he does it he scoops it up in a little cup and takes it outside and he's like you're free okay but then it does come back in sometimes into the we house. ask him to get Anton Chigurin to come and use his bolt gun <laughs> just you, yeah yeah okay so Champagne Bobby is Drake that is correct there's a there can I tell you can I you did you want it says here go behind the answer and tell everybody how you knew that. Um, I very recently. That's crazy because my email just has like four <laughs> words on it. Uh, um, well, I recently watched the episode of uh, Atlanta where they were at a uh, party that were she was at a party that she thought Drake was at, and the episode was called Champagne Poppy. Now, who is Funk Doctor Spock? Funk Doctor Spock is. I must have gotten that one wrong, right? He, can I do? Can I say this? I know a little bit about three of the names on this list. I do not know about Jin of BTS. So I'm going to say that's Funk Dr. Spock. Incorrect. Red Man is Funk Dr. Spock. Shoot. Now, who is Worldwide Handsome? Jin of BTS. Correct. Who, yeah. who is Todd? Who is Todd? Who is Todd? Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg, yes. In 2014, Snoop Dogg created an alternate white guy persona named Todd. God, Why? that's good. What was that for? So Was that for his Twitch channel? I have no idea, bud. Now, one left. Mr. Shoulders. Drake. No. Mr. Shoulders is another nickname for Jen of BTS. Wow. I guess I got uh, Well, now I got to Google these fucking warlocks. Let's see. I don't want to say special thanks to Shay, Jared, and Quinn for sending those all in. I thought that Jen went seamlessly. BTS. Seamlessly. Um, wow. I wow. Yeah. I can't look at these. I can't look at these fucking kids in BTS. They're gorgeous. So look at these gorgeous. Shoulders, the, these shoulders. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You could. You could. You could. Wow. But you could hang laundry from these. You shoulders. could use these it as a does. level. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Them Jim's shoulders. These guys are handsome. What is Jim's I mean, shoulders I, with? Sixty centimeters. I would not doubt that anybody on in BTS is handsome. It's just the sh- these shoulders are so huge, y'all. Yeah, and the, there's a. Can I say something else? Just a, there's a lot of pictures of these guys online. Yeah, people yeah, really yeah, like yeah. looking at them. People like cool. pictures of these guys. 
Yeah. I get it, man. Cool, cool looking dude. Yeah. These shoulders are. I only sight. know butter, but it slaps. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's good. Every time I, I love butter. Happy, butter slaps. Hey, can we do a I'm question? Here. I love that, Griff. Six episodes left, by the way, till the devil comes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed. Just want to mention it. My office. We got to stop doing the show. Got to stop doing the show before the depth. Man, wouldn't that be a twist? That would be yeah. such a twist. Like, guys, we can't do it. It's a line we, we can't just cross. Put it in the, we put it in the no no box with f- episode 420. Oh, and then man. just one one day, we just knock those out. My office has an open. There, there was a certain segment of people. Most people probably didn't mind that. There was a certain segment of people that bothered a whole bunch. I'm Which sure one? There wasn't many. The people that were where we skipped a number. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably pretty irritating for people, I would guess. Okay. Sure. My office has an open floor plan with cubicles. Whenever anyone sneezes, it's met with a chorus of enthusiastic bless yous. Yes. Today, someone sneezed in the bathroom. Should I have blessed them? Or do we ignore any bathroom sound making as an unspoken rule? Let's go. That's a good one. Thank Thank you. That's a great one, actually. That's a great one. That's from Sneezing Season in Philadelphia. Boy, howdy, is it ever. Oh boy! Yeah, oh the boy. dust particles are. Well, I'm crazy. gonna. Can I throw this out to you? Because I, I, this is what first came to mind when I read this question. The these two syllables before it. You're in the cubicle. You're in the stall next to the stall. They sneeze, right? And then you go, right. "Hey, uh, bless you," right? And with that, "Hey, uh," you're acknowledging so many things, right? Like, oh, you're saying dude, that that's good. That you would be like, "Hey, uh, you bless like you. that." Yeah, you like that. It's you like to couch it like that. because otherwise, if you just come out swinging with "bless you," no, 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 well, no, no, you no, don't no. Say it like that, you know. You don't. Yeah, say it you like wouldn't that, say right? it like that. Have you never? You would. You would be like, "Bless you." No, you know, you wouldn't say it like bless that. Bless you. Right? Bless have you, you. Ever blessed ha- Travis? Have you? I know that you're not like a church guy, but have you ever blessed anyone? It's it's got to be. It's from the spirit when you give a. Listen, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Please. When you give a blessing, uh-huh. it has to come from inside. It can't come from up here where you're like, how should I say this good? Bless you. It's got to be from the foot, like the, from like the hip. The hip. Yeah. Um, from the hip, straight but it's got to be also from the heart. The hip, so the hip, the heart, and the head? No head. Not the head. No head. Just hip and heart. And, and so when someone sneezes and you want to give them, a lot of people don't take this seriously enough. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. When I give you a blessing. Yeah. You'll know, Ooh. you'll remember, you'll f- definitely feel and experience it in the way that I intend. You might wake up with strange bruising. That's part of the blessing. Yeah, I, I would Griffin is correct I in would. that you, you can't have a second's hesitation, right? If they sneeze, mm-hmm. Buzzy. and Because then they can be like, that was weird, but I guess it was reflexive. Right. They sneeze and they just sort of, sh- yeah. And plus, at the moments after you sneeze, everybody's sort of like, Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you right. Even notice really. You're who barely said, there. You wouldn't have a second to think I, like who said what or anything. It it human instinct is as such that if they didn't reflexively say bless you, that would be weird. The ball, my friend, is in their court of do you say thanks oh. when you're in the bathroom stall? Because now that's premeditated. Uh, uh, unless you live in the Midwest, in which case it's never premeditated, and it is again like a reflexive sort of instinct. But do you say like? That was weird that someone blessed me through a bathroom stall. They can't even see me. So how's the blessing energy supposed to even get here? It's just a nice way of people saying, hey, I'm here. Yeah. You, know I mean? you didn't have to do that a lot. I, w- I worked out of my house for nigh on 15 years now. I would give yeah. anything to sneeze and just hear a voice. Yeah. Just hear mm-hmm. somebody say like, good job. Or like, I got you. Or like, not a not a weird one. I, th- maybe that's kind of what the bless you is like. Normal. Yeah. Normal sneeze. Good sneeze. Good that's a thing sneeze. all humans do. That's a thing. We, we do, that. do that. It's fine. Don't worry. Sometimes I say it when people fart in the restroom. You know what I mean? Just to let and them know you have to be, you're safe you here. Gotta be so, you got to be super careful because some people's farts sound like sneezes and vice versa. Yeah. yeah. But I think if you Especially fart bait. in the toilet room, which is the safest room to do it, we should be allowed yeah. to say bless you for that too. Which is such a like... That doesn't make any sense. That like it's okay to do it there. Don't do a bit. You know, I'm gonna ask you. Que- I'm gonna ask you a question right now. If I said to you, "Hey, you can't say bless you, but you have to communicate what you're communicating when you say bless you," what would you say instead after someone sneezed? Uh, well, would how would say, you? Don't do a joke. How would you? No, no, this is real. You, okay, 
So you sneeze. Uh, two. Heard, chef. That's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, honest to God, this is what popped into my head. Wait, hold on. Ah, two. Nice one. No, I, that's not what a blessing is. You don't always mean nice one though, and you're not actually blessing the person. What you're saying is we like, all know the we all know the the fucking entomology of it too, where it's like okay, your heart stops, and so you don't want people. But that's not a fun place. I to think it, I'm saying this for all the people who are now frustrated. Uh, again, by this, for the second time in this episode. It might just be like acknowledged, right? It might just be like acknowledged, right? Hey, sm- sne- Travis sneeze. Achoo! If I don't say this, it's weird. Yeah. Ooh. That's, that's it, right? If I don't say this, it's weird. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Achoo! And also with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes? It's just simply like, if I don't do it, you'll be mad. So I gotta mm-hmm. do something. Yeah. And this is, and I'm not a really, I know it's crazy. I know if I had to pull something to say to break the tension, I know it's wild that I would pull kind of a religious thing considering everything else in my life. But that is what I've pulled to say to you. Bless you. It is, there's a lot of like call and response things in like society and culture that if someone doesn't yeah. do, it's not like, bad but it is like oh uh like leaving someone hanging for a high five right but this is like someone unintentionally like as a uh reflex response (laughs) raise their hand for a high five and you don't high five them back i guess if i were to go through my own internal thought process the the meaning of bless you for me when it's not coming from the heart and the hip and it's not like an actual blessing where like give them some my religion power to them sure is like um jesse go ahead and sneeze Uh uh two. You made a loud sound and it didn't scare me, but I forgive you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I forgive you. I forgive you. That was a loud sound you just made. It's okay though. I'll allow it. I'll allow the loud sound you made, and I was scared for a second because I thought that like uh, some loud killer had gotten into the room. Uh, anytime you hear someone wind up a sneeze to really let one rip, mm-hmm. there is a millisecond in your mind where you're like, somebody's screaming. Somebody's screaming. Mm. Right now, yeah. near me, somebody's screaming. And a lot of stuff in my body is producing sort of uh, hormones and stuff to get my body ready to fight or run or- Especially if um, they take a big run up at it. Uh, yeah. Uh, that and For a second, it's like someone's yelling because they're being hurt or they're in terrible danger, which means I am too. And so when the chew comes out, a bless you is almost like, oh, thank uh, God. Oh, thank God. The relief. Um, how about another question? Now listen, this one's long, Justin, but bear with me. There's a twist in it that I love. Ooh. Yeah. I'm a research assistant in a psychology lab. We bring in human subjects and put them through different situations so we can make conclusions about how the mind works. Since I've begun working here about a year ago, there's a problem. There's been a frog hat sitting on a coat rack in the lobby. It's a very cute hat, looks crocheted, and it has a little frog eyes on it. I look at it every day, and recently I've considered taking it. Problem is, there's a camera watching the lobby at all times. I'm not worried about you getting yelled at for stealing. I'm worried the hat is a trap. What if this is a psychology experiment and I've become the subject? What if the entire point of the frog hat is to lure someone in? What if by taking this hat, I reassure them that all humans are inherently selfish stealers? What do I do, brothers? Should I just take the hat and become the subject of my peers' experimentation, or must I endure the torture of passing by this abandoned frog hat daily? That's from disastrously distressed in Delaware. Now, I want you guys to really think about it, really, because th- it occurred to me, the specificity of a crocheted frog hat, right? If you're the person who owns that hat, and you bring it in, and you put it on the coat rack, what are the odds that you walk out of that building Unaware that you passed it several right? times. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like that you never this thought, like, oh, I'm walking out the front door of the building not wearing my crocheted frog hat. Yeah. Right. You'd notice. Yeah. yeah. That's part of your identity, I think, at that point. Right. It's, right. You, that's a key part of your look. It could be like Doug Funny, yeah. <laughs> hanging brain. <laughs> you know, forget. <laughs> Like, no, Doug. What? Yeah. If Doug Funny walks out without his khaki shorts and he's going commando underneath, right. as we all know he Thank did. Thank you. It was a funnier way of saying he doesn't have his pants. Yeah. It's like a funnier way of saying Is that why Quail Man wore his underwear on the outside? Because he wasn't wearing it to begin with. No. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Uh, One thing you could try is just uh, announcing loudly 
that you know it's a spare. Yeah, yeah. Like the experiment you, has failed. It's a experiment, and I know about it. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. guys, experiment over. I know about it. <laughs> then, immunity. The data's fucked. Immunity. The data's fucked. Your data many- is fucked. I know about the experiment. <laughs> how many how many times a day when you are enrolled at this how to get away with murder style competitive spearmint school yeah. are you allowed <laughs> are you allowed to just sort of blank fire this is a spearmint if and someone be wrong is, if someone oh, you is get too three. attractive for you want well, yes. to kiss you if you meet him at a certain place as you're yeah. walking in you're like under your breath like I know this is spearmint. I know this is spearmint. I know this is spearmint. It's like, you can't get me. I know it's a spearmint. If you see a chocolate bar on the ground, no way. Spearmint. Not even that. Right there. Just fucking small talk. If somebody's like, yeah, what do you think about class today? It seemed a little unnecessary, huh? You're like, nope, spearmint. Spearmint. You're trying to get feedback from me. I actually think Trump's starting to make a lot of sense. Spearmint. 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 Nice try, though. You're not going to peer pressure me into this spearmint. Hey, but good. Hey, good on you for still believing that the experiments end when the door at the doors and walls of this building. Because man, if mm-hmm. I were you, I just assume they've infiltrated every aspect of my life. So good for you to not let it extend beyond that. Because pretty soon, you know, you go somewhere and they're like, uh, "Paper or plastic," and you're like, "Experiment, experiment." No, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What would you? What would happen if you fucking took the hat and then like? There's a poster hanging on the wall that is hollowed out behind it, and John Quinones just jumps out. Got like, you, motherfucker. This was the lo- and he's like, "This was the longest one yet, <laughs> but I fucking got it. <laughs> Worth it." People have been asking, "Where's that show, John?" I said, "I'm on a long grift right now, guys. <laughs> I'm deeply committed." He's looking at the at the hat more every day. Every and single you, day. And then you say, yeah, man, I sat there for a year and the school year was about to end and I figured they'd throw it away if nobody took it, so I took it. And Kenyonis is yeah. like, well, damn. Yeah, no, that's fine, actually. That was a that was a cool thing to do. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you, yeah, gotta you did it. Careful. You did it. At experiment school, the, sometimes you'll see something and you'll be like, experiment, and then the red light will flash to let you know you were wrong. Yeah. You can also just say, Kenyonis? Yeah. And then if John Kenyonis is there like doing one of his experiments uh, slash pranks, uh, then that also nullifies that. Um, what if you can get huge points for that one? What if the experiment is that it's like testing to see if anyone's brave enough to take the cool hat? Okay, and this so it's is a courage about, thing. Yeah, it's theft. a courage wow. experiment. Wow, Travis, when you put it that way, yeah. all acts of theft are pretty courageous. Yeah, like courageous. what do you do? That's not yours. You courageous. But you're not scout. taking it from anyone. At this point, it's been a year. That hat. Has been abandoned. No one's come back for that hat. Are you going to let that hat sit there unloved, unwanted? This is a compassion experiment. When I was robbed at gunpoint at the GameStop for uh, PlayStation 3, um, I remember looking at the person who was doing that to me and saying, that's very, that's, this is very, you must be pretty scared right now. This is a hugely courageous act that you now, are that you are performing. Now, right Griffin, now. I would take it and turn it and say it's a little bit different because no one's wearing this hat, and the reader's not like the listener's not like I'm going to approach them with a knife to get this hat. This is more like if you had a stack of PlayStation fives sitting out in the yeah. rain for a year and the sun okay, and the yeah, wind. That is a better, yeah, I, that is a better way of doing this. Here's what you can do. Make this experiment on them. Yes. Oh. You walk up to the hat, make sure you're on camera, and you cry for like a couple minutes every day. And then if they don't say anything, after a week, you look up at the camera and be like, this was actually the experiment. experiment. I took it over. You didn't ask why I was crying at this frog hat you were trying to get me to steal. <laughs> this is my experiment that you're in now. And here is my hypothesis, and I have proven it with a control group and other peer-reviewed research is that Michael is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to the money zone? Yeah, I'd love to. Come come with me. Come on. Come on. It's better. It's better with you. Squarespace. It's yeah, let it sink in. Don't be scared. Soak in that. Come in here. It's been too long since we all just allowed ourselves to sit in the square space together. You yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes we do jokes, right? And they pay by the second. So like when we soak in it, we're also soaking in money. Yeah. And you know what? 
a very exciting McElroy news. This is a huge uh, business development for us. We've recently purchased the URL Disney.dad. Wow. Um, the possibilities. You say we, that was our uh, team. Sarah, Sarah, okay, yeah. It, okay. It was Sarah who, who did purchase yes. that one. So I don't, I don't think that we can just sort of. But as say, a business move for Big Giant Head, this was a macro. It's a business expense. Strategic investment. Yeah. It's biz debt. It's strategic business. It's biz debt, right? And the possibilities of what we could do with Disney and our dad are. We need to endless. now settle within the next three days because you've now said it on our podcast that kids broadcast it out to the world. Ah, uh, fuck. You're right. All right. Anyways, thank you, Squarespace, for providing the tools to develop. Uh, Disney.dad into what I assume is going to be a new uh, phase of our careers. Phase uh, four. Phase four. Uh, now uh, with the new versus. Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. <laughs> uh, you're going to love this shit. It's great. We're bringing it back. Season two. This time they Honda, fight Loki. Honda. Honda Vision, and this is a new one that's going to make us a lot of money. Yeah, E Honda drives a Honda. It's pretty great. You're going to love <laughs> it's it. It's really funny. It's it's a like, good bit. It goes for yeah. 18 episodes and a movie. Yeah. I don't want to talk um, about this anymore. Please, one of you do it. I'm not, I'm off the rails. Yeah, I mean, you haven't really said a single copy a point single yet, bit. so we are stopping start, starting from scratch here. But it's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Y'all know it's about Squarespace. It lets you stand out with a beautiful website and engage with the audience. Sell anything, your products, content you create, even your time. Hour of your life? 50 bucks? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. Create pro-level videos effortlessly with the Squarespace Video Studio app. They got powerful blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, and updates. All their websites are optimized for mobile, and uh, content automatically adjusts so your site looks great on any device. Maybe you have some fucking oh, well, weird, weird experimental 24-inch wide by 3-inch tall like mega Mondo phone. It's a belt. And you have to take Ooh. it off every time that you use it. Your website's going to figure it out, probably. That may be a somewhat extreme example. But again, the FCC doesn't listen to and regulate anything <laughs> we say on here. We are gods. We are gods. Um, but go to squarespace.com slash my brother <laughs> for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code my brother to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Well, Squarespace, we are gods. Squarespace, become God. <laughs> like unto gods. We are like unto gods. Like unto gods, lick unto God. I have I have socks that I love. Can you say that? If not, yeah, can. it may be time for you to, hey, if I'm doing a good ad, Griffin, I need you to just calm down. Okay? I'm, trying to, I'm trying to hype you up. I'm also uh, rocking them. Oh, uh, yeah. This fun color we, lo we love Bombas around here. And they just, like, we wear them all the time because they're really good. If you've been denying yourself Bombas, I, I don't know what you're waiting for. You should love yourself enough to get a pair. And you're not just loving yourself when you get one of these uh, beautiful, seamless, tagless, effortlessly soft. That bothers me because I bet a lot of people put a lot of effort into making them as soft as they are because they seem Yeah, but the soft. socks aren't doing it. The socks aren't the doing socks, it. Yeah. Really sturdy, too. I don't think I've lost a, a, like, a pair of these yeah. soldiers to holes or other sorts of uh, fabric degradation. Um, the big the big items for Bombas, socks, underwear, t-shirts, they are the most important items in shelters for people experiencing homelessness. And for every one of these beautiful babies you buy, Bombas is going to donate another comfy item to someone in need. You're loving yourself. You're loving your fellow person. And uh, what what better way could there be to spend your sock budget? Go to bombas.com slash my brother and use code my brother for 20% off your first purchase. Bombas.com slash my brother code my brother. Trans representation in media is at an all time high with trans entertainers gracing the screens large and small. But trans voices, especially black trans voices, are rarely centered in our own stories. That's why we bring you a new limited series called We See Each Other, the podcast, co-hosted by me, journalist, and better half of the Max Fun podcast, Fanta, Travel Anderson, and me, award-winning journalist and media personality, Shar Jossel. All of it is based on my book, We See Each Other, A Black Trans Journey Through TV and Film. Now listen, folks, we're having a very different kind of conversation. It's giving kitchen table talk. Mm -hmm. We get into the discourse honey tune into we see each other the podcast at maximumfun.org or wherever you get slayworthy audio 
The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Diablo 4. Final Fantasy 16. Street Fighter 6. Baldur's Gate 3. Starfield. Spider-Man 2. Master Detective Archives Raincoat for Nintendo Switch. No, is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge time for video games. You need somebody to tell you what's good, what's not so good, and what's amazing. I'm Jason Schreier. I'm Maddie Myers. And I'm Kirk Hamilton. We're the hosts of Triple Click, a video game podcast for anyone who likes games. Find us at MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Bye. I have a wizard. Oh, let's go visit the wizard. We're there. There. <laughs> hey, so thank you so much to Megan for sending this one in. Um, it's a great WikiHow article that I think, uh, some, some of these that I do, I think is just like funny, but it's like not useful. This one, this one is, and it is how to show off your muscles without it seeming intentional. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Are you looking, yes. Are you looking to impress friends, a date or people at work? Yes. Do you want everyone to notice your hard work in the gym without seeming like an arrogant jerk? Yes. Take these less obvious routes to get them to see the gun show. This is a this is a type of experiment I feel like that yeah. everyone that everyone does for their favorite bod part. Um I'm always trying to find ways to sneak my calves into the conversation. I've noticed that. Uh, um, but not at first, Griffin. I didn't notice it at first. Tasteful. Yeah. Very tasteful. You got bolder done. and bolder though, I think was when I just when we were doing the Bombas ad and I lifted up my foot to show you all my sock, when I rolled up my pant leg and then applied lotion to my calf. And I was like, sorry, guys, I got to do The doctor says I got to do this. The doctor doesn't say I got to do this. You need a new doctor. Oh, I've been meaning to actually good. talk to you about that. You do need a new doctor. I'm yeah. actually between doctors right now. Um, I moved to D.C. Like a sandwich? And I went to Fauci's office, and he was like, I don't really do this kind of stuff anymore. And so I was like, well, it's you or nobody, so I'll die. I'll say, I said, I'll die without you, Dr. Fauci. So balls in your court, I guess. Who does and this Bi is a who standing Biden offer Who's Biden on the say? podcast. Who does Biden say? What Just is get, what? Get Biden's guy. Who's Biden? Fauci? Saying? I assume Biden sees Fauci. Probably. Romantically. Yeah. Why would you want anyone else? He's the best doctor. All I'm um, saying is, whoever they got for Biden, I bet he's pretty thorough. <laughs> Let's just say that. You don't want want to slip past you. That age, that position, I bet he knows what he's doing. I bet I he knows how to get. I yeah. bet he knows how to keep an old man alive. <laughs> <laughs> And think of what he could do for you. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're no, not even yeah. Old. If he starts doing that stuff now, 175 <laughs> easy. I wish that's what he says to fight. I wish I got you in your 40s, man. Oh, man. You're alive forever. <laughs> I'll be straight, man. I did not think you were ever going to win president. <laughs> I'll be straight. I would have started you, earlier. I thought you were too old, honestly. But honestly, that was my whole thing the age and just sort of the way that you. Ran, I was like, no fucking way, <laughs> dog. But I should have gotten in early. But now. hey, man, one term and out, right? But what's that? What's what? that again? Fuck. Oh no, god, one. I gotta step it up. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Let me go get the plutonium. <laughs> there was so there was a doctor that that when he heard that news did have to stand up and walk out of the room. Like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Take my name off it. Take my name off it. Somebody no, no, call no. this. Somebody call the secretary of nanotech. We need to elevate the, the game a little bit. Um, so showing off with subtle motions. Do a face wipe. Is it a bit hot out today? Wipe your face with the bottom of your shirt to show off the ab muscles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you have them flexed before you lift your shirt. Mm, that is important. Rookie mistake. Be careful you don't get a lot of sweat on a cotton t-shirt or else everyone will notice a big wet spot when you lower your top. Some people like that. Yeah, um, that's this move thing. works well. This move works well in the gym when you don't have a towel handy, or anywhere. Yeah. Now, if you but, don't have a towel handy, you could just hit them with a. But it's risky though, then because I lift my shirt to wipe my face, it comes down no wet spot, and they're like, yeah. "Why did you do that? What was that about?" That's a good point. Yeah, my and my fucking radar is always looking for deception. Uh, in the, in this style, if I see a dry shirt when you wipe your, what did you just wipe off? Was there a bug? Yeah. If there's bugs in here, you have to tell me. You if I'm at the gym, um, as I put the little weight, as I set the weight, I'll kind of hook the bottom of my shirt into it. So yeah. then when I pull down, rips my shirt right off, and I'm like, right. oh and, man. And you have to keep. And every time you do it, you're like, oops. 
Right. Whoops. Lift it. Whoa, Uh-oh. whoa. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm get stuck. Get every time. Yeah. You could perform an arm fold. Slowly fold your arms across your chest. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Push your like, wrist like a genie. a little bit. It does. It does say to push your wrists upward a little bit. I think they mean really Griffin is. putting your hands underneath the muscles, not grabbing the muscles and twisting them upward. <laughs> like this, Griffin. You're sore. putting your knuckles underneath and pushing up. <laughs> not what you're doing. If you want to push the biceps together, there's better ways to do it. You don't push them together, Griffin. It's not cleavage. Um, but it does accomplish the same thing. I uh, guess. An arm fold is a strong body language move. It conveys confidence. Yeah, that's why genies do it. Yeah, I can that's grant a wish. genies do it. Yeah, I, fucking no problem, pal. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Justin? That's, that's the that a genie makes. That's the noise a genie, genie makes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do it with their mouth, too. They're like, yeah. what do you want? A million dollars and be a prince? Sure. Not enough people use conjunctions in their wishes, by the way. I wish for a million dollars and... Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you got to be so careful with genies, guys. Yeah, thank you. Pretend to stretch. Why not that's really stretch? To me. Yeah, that's interesting to me, because I don't know how to do that without accidentally doing it. Yeah, right? Just really stretch. It's good for you. Flexibility is important. My lifestyle is as such that there are many things that stretch my muscles and bones out yeah. that maybe don't qualify as that for other more active people. Sometimes a stretch can be picking a towel off the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm, good stretch. I definitely limbered up with that one. Griffin, did you just get a fitness notification on your watch while doing this show? <laughs> Uh, no, I did get a doctor's appointment notification. <laughs> um, hey, man, it's out. me, Anthony. Noticed uh, your blood pressure was rising yeah. while you were sitting there in your chair. You need to come in? or Griffin, it's me, your muscle doctor. They're looking so <laughs> wild, man. Almost too big. I'm worried about it ripping the skin. You need to come in? A lot of people also don't realize that you can do the shirt fold up and then fold your arms over it to showcase more than one goods at the same time. Because if I, if somebody sees me flexing my calves, they're like, yeah, so what? You have, you have calves that are great. Yeah. Um, everybody's got that one body part that like kicks ass for whatever reason. You got to show them at least two to let them know the kind of work you've been doing in the gym. Abs and delts, trelts and buys. Perfect. Um, hey, can I throw this out? This is one that uh, move always works for me, right? Yeah. While they're not looking, pull the front of your shirt up over your head, right? So you look yeah. kind of like a ghost. And then shrug really hard, right? Oh, so now you're yeah. throwing off abs, you're showing off biceps, and you look confused. And yeah. now they're going to help you. And now a dialogue is started. Yeah, roll your pant legs up to show off your calves. And then when someone looks at you funny, just shrug really hard, like hard as you don't can. Know. Uh, and now and you're showing you're off your them- traps. You're giving them upstairs, downstairs. Yeah, 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 like that. Is this good? Is it? What is this showcase? Your what? neck. Yeah, it's kind of your flexibility. Back. Yeah, I, that hurt the last one I did. Um, interlock the fingers of both arms. If you're wearing Wait. a t-shirt or t- tight-fitting top, interlock your fingers while facing the target audience for extra flexing. Keep your fingers interlocked and flip your hands around so your palms face upward. Yep, so I was at the uh, old, I was at the market. I don't think it's like what you're doing, Griffin. And no offense, but you look uh, pained when you do that thing. Yeah, well, that was a terrible stretch that I just did and a tear. Sometimes those two become the same thing also. Mm -hmm. But it's like a casual, like, folding the hands behind the head. And like, yes, I I was at the market Oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, everybody, look at my muscle. I was carrying three watermelons. Travis, you can't actually flex. Justin, look at my muscle. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. You can't actually flex your muscles during this bit, Travis. (laughs) Oh, I'm not. Sorry, that's just, I guess that's just. Travis, it sucks. Some kind of twist. It's It's just us here. It's just on TikTok. Suck it's just on TikTok. Oh, it's just, I got this pain, right? Oh. Yeah. Hurts so bad. Sorry, what were you guys saying? I posted a photo of me on the Tron Light Cycle run ride from <laughs> Disney World that the shadows of that virtual playscape were as such that they the way they crested over my yeah. arm meat was exceptionally flattering. Yeah. And I a don't lie, post a, a lot. lie. We could say a lie. I don't yeah. post a it lot. It was natural photoshopping. Go on. I don't post a lot on the gram. 
And so people, I feel like, don't have a great idea of what I look like at any given time. And I love that. That's great for me. But a lot of people, a lot of the comments on this one are like, damn, I didn't know Griffin got swole. Now, I'm scared to be represented visually with my bare arms out at all because I want to keep that mystery. You got to live in it. Yes, that's sir. fun. Oh. That's f- I'm not I have no intentions for having that seed planted in people's minds, but it feels nice. You should it's cool you, to I me. think one another option you're not even considering is maybe you cash that check. Cash the check that you wrote with the picture. Yeah. Oh, and get and get strong get or strong. alternatively, whenever I post pictures of myself for major life events or anniversaries or memories, I do go ride the Tron light cycle run ride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so it's like me and Henry just graduated high school and we're side by side just like, <laughs> "I love you, son." But I am, you know, they're out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're out. They're out there. Um <laughs> I <sighs> Okay, I wanted to tell you guys, this is not really a bit, but I did want to tell you that we've got some new competition out oh. there. This was surfaced to me on Facebook, and, and good on them. You know, for, they got yeah, my Facebook number, never yeah. done anything wrong. Go on. Yeah, good on them. They got my number. Uh, the Brotherly Love Podcast. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Fuck. Did you see this? Yeah. Yeah, man. Is it, Joey, is it the Lauren? It's no. the Lawrence's. Joey, Matt, and Andy, your friends. They got Andy? Yeah, they're man. Coming, they got three brothers, and they're coming for our lunch. They're and coming. they all look uh, more attractive than us. They all look great. Their podcast is they, they're in the thing called Podco, I guess is their network, which has a podcast called Even More Stevens that features Christy Cross and Romano and Beans on yep. the podcast. That's what that's what we're uh, they could get beans. They're one degree from beans, these Lawrence brothers, okay? Guys? I heard yeah. it. I heard, I heard on the, I was on Insta, I think, and I saw Matthew Lawrence telling a story about how he was a kid and he barged into Robin Williams' dressing room when Robin was, was having his time where he just is not feeling great about everything and just to store up the comedy juice and a kid barged in and Robin Williams stopped to explain, I can't compete with that. Yeah. But unless, you know, unless, 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 we listen to every, unless we listen to every episode and then we do the stories that they do on as, top of as what ourselves, our, on top of our usual cutting up, the only, we just do, we can do their bits. The only famous people I ever met was Tommy Davidson at the Philadelphia airport. No, that's, we also met, we must have met other people. No, Griffin man, and I have a picture with Jeff Goldblum where yeah. we pretended we'd just seen Pillow Man, which he was in, but we didn't. We hadn't I, seen it. I, but. I, we have a picture of Dave Chappelle, but that doesn't seem as great no. as it used to. No, no that's not it fine was, anymore. It was a long time ago. This is a long time ago. I we bet, you know, what, su- you know ago. what fucking sucks? You know whose biceps look fucking righteous in that pic? Me. But I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Wow. I have a doctor's appointment in four <laughs> minutes. Yeah, Bolt can pull this out at minute 53. Keep Let's going. Let's go. Bolt out at minute. No, you're, you're right. I'll save it, actually. Let's wrap yeah. it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, we're no, not we cutting that out. Show. We're that, leaving that in. That, out. that was good. <laughs> that was Justin fully knowing that we had a hard ass out. Hard the out. hardest out. <laughs> Can I be honest? For once in my life, I was just enjoying doing it. You know what yeah, I mean? No, <laughs> I was, the I was having so fun right doing now. it. It's a good energy right now. Um, the energy is good, and we're glad you're here for it. Should we try to like? If you can't beat them, join them. Is there any Lawrence? Like, it's got to be all the Lawrence's, right? We don't need show swap. Is that something where they host our show? Oh, listen! If you guys want to come on, we can help you promote your little podcast. If you guys want to come us. on, get at us. We're with Joel Baglider, CAA. Get at us, bros. Get at us, Lawrence, the band. Oh, that could confuse a lot of people and be very good. That would be music. good. Hey, listen, listen, guys, we're gonna be in Columbus and we're gonna be in Milwaukee this weekend. And speaking of good energy, at least two of the three of us are get to drive to Columbus, and I'm so wicked excited. Gonna go to just Kosai. be like, leave my house and be there. Are we gonna go to Kosai though? Yeah, we are. Yeah, gonna man, go to Kosai. we're going to Kosai. Yeah, yeah. Cool. 
Um, so May 19th, my brother, my brother, me in Columbus with uh, Schmanners and Sawbones opening. Uh, so very exciting. My brother, my brother, me, Schmanners and Sawbones, May 19th, May 20th, Adventure Zone in Columbus, Ohio. We're doing, uh, there's a one shot, something we've never done before, a new system. Um, so even if you haven't listened in like six years, come on down. It's going to be super fun. You won't need to know anything except how to have a good time and yeah, and where to find the venue and how to buy tickets. I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, also, May 21st, my brother, my brother, and me in Milwaukee. So come hang out. Get those tickets at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. If you're coming to my brother, my brother, and me and want to submit a question, email it to mbmbam at maximumfund.org and put the city in the subject line uh, that the show is going to be at. Uh, if you have questions you want to ask live, keep an eye on our Instagram. It's at the McElroy family. Uh, we're going to post in the story instructions on how to send us those questions. One more time, get your tickets and all the information at bit.ly slash McElroy tours. Uh, the shows are this weekend. Don't wait. Don't wait. Thanks to Montaigne for the use of our theme song. My life is better with you. They knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, thank you to Maximum Fun for having us on the network. Thank you to you for listening. Thank Just thank you. I'm full of gratitude right now. Full of thank gratitude. Thank you. You know, I'm reminded now of that famous Jack Johnson quote. I just, yeah, did not it just, No way. It no came chance. to me. Careful living and correct training methods aided me a great deal. But I would say straight punching was the foundation of all my success. Jack Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. It's been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.